Alana Reed and Alexis James respond to Serena Cole's blistering 100 meter heat run. Plus, Bawaja Nkume of Kingston College impress and the record falls twice in one day. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it. Peter Lloyd World, go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drop to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. When you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, this young lady, guess who it is? It's this young lady, Kemba Nelson, uh, who, of course, atten attended Mount Alvernia High out of Montego Bay. Perhaps one of their most famous sprinters went back to pay a visit to her former high school and to inspire the girls as they head to the largest championship in the Western world happening this week at the National Stadium. The sprint star and silver medalist from the World, world Athletics in 2022 truly inspired the students as you can see. I don't know about you, but that certainly gave me goosebumps. It reminded me of the days when I was head boy of the great Kingston College. Wow. And speaking of Kingston College, the remarkable Boaja Nkume was extremely impressive in the heats of the class one men's 100 meter yesterday wow 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 was he impressive easily advancing to the semi-finals with the fastest time a time of 10.51 and believe me people he was pretty much jogging got out of the blocks very late which is a little unusual for him um actually left sleeping in the blocks but made up for it quite easily and looked remarkable. Now, this young man from Jamaica College is one also to watch. I think Jaden Reed was also very impressive, um, running the second fastest time, I believe, for the heat in the men's 100 meter heat yesterday at the National Stadium, a time of 10.52. And he looked quite comfortable, good form, looked great in his run. Uh, the other automatic person who went to was St. John Joshua, Joshua St. John of Edwin Allen who ran 10.75 note the difference now Herbert Morrison's DeAndre Daly let's speak be Daly easily won his heat running a time of 10.65 ahead of Yuri Lawrence C of Kingston College who read me for but never yield a Lawrence uh, ran 10.7 zero to get through to the semi-finals but i have to tell you something there's something about uh deandre daly that doesn't seem right i think he may be injured he just doesn't look quite himself then of course the fourth best qualifier was this young man javon dunkley a name if you don't know you should probably get to know uh out of saint elizabeth very very uh competent sprinter looked good i thought in heat number four ran a time of 10 point five nine to get through to the semi-finals ahead of demore miller of excelsior high who ran 10.83 now yesterday we reported that the first record of the happenings at the national stadium fell yesterday to a young lady from homewood technical cedrica williams she threw in the discus a new record of 53.22 this was in uh prelim number one however in prelim number two uh, the record was again broken. This time it was broken by Abigail Martin from St. Jago High. She threw a new record time, record not time, record throw of 55.19 to go through. Boy, people, two, two records back to back. Almost really exciting things happening there at the National Stadium. Now for uh, this young man. 
at Saturday's Velocity Fest. I think we may be witnessing, witnessing the resurgence of the 110 meter hurdler Tyler Mason. You should remember that name. He is with Elite Performance. Ran and won the men's 100 meter, 110 meter hurdles in a time of 13.68 and seems to be getting back into his original fitness level. No hurry, lane number four, but they are sent on their way. Tyler Mason got away quickly from the inside, representing any performance. The front scandal, Adaria Phillips trying to chase, it's Mason. 13.69 for Tyler Mason. That is not a bad effort for him. 13.32, his lifetime best. And maybe after the improvements shown last year, He's on his way back to that type of shape and even better. 13.68 is what the time has been adjusted to. Positive 0 0.1 meters per second, the wind speed. So is Tyler Mason getting back into form? Let me know your thoughts. Now, Alani Reed yesterday did not run the fastest time in the heats. She ran a time of 11.81 to qualify. This was in heat three of the prelims. But I personally was very impressed with her run. There are some changes that I saw that must be pointed out immediately. First up, her running style has improved. Her technique has improved. Remember, she tended to run with a slight gait forward, meaning leaning forward. She ran really, really well. Um, her form, her she was more upright, knees were higher, looked even more relaxed, arms were in the right position because sometimes she started to spread the arms. She looked really, really good. Now, her transitions from uh, getting out of the blocks to start into the drive phase, into the um, her top speed, top end speed, may not have been as seamless as Serena Cole's were, but clearly she was holding back she's holding back for today's final um but she looked very impressive to me i really took note of the change in form if you get an opportunity go watch the race of course we're going to show you these races uh once we're able to once tbj says it's kind of okay but i thought she looked good now alexis james of petersfield the silver medalist from last year's world on the 20 100 meter hurdles in cali colombia um, she's proven to be an extremely competent sprinter. I would say at this point in class one is perhaps the third fastest girl woman in the class one women's. She looked really, really good. Also, uh, she ran a time of 11.74, put out a little more effort than um, Alana redid, but I thought she was impressive. Now, is she a threat? to Serena Cole. Uh, look, people, I'm going to be honest with you. The way Serena Cole ran yesterday, I am not sure if anyone is a threat. I'm going to just be honest with you. She looked seamless. And remember, um, long jump, triple jump. She just looked strong, seamless. And like I said, her form, I said it in yesterday's video, was nearly perfect. I, I mean, I, I couldn't see anything wrong with her gait, anything. But Alana Reed, I still think is a real threat. She's holding back and I think she intends to walk away with that gold medal. I think that's her aim. She is a real threat. I think she's more a threat than Alexis James, but James also looks really, really good. So make sure you're locked into the semi-finals, which we will update you on. And the finals, which is going to be today, it's going to be a humdinger. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Well, I should say, this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, you're royals, kings and queens. Bless up!